Hello, Sergeant, and welcome to the Data Science Conference. Could you tell us something about yourself and what you are currently working on? Uh, well, hello, and it's uh, good to be here. So my name is Srijan Šantić, and I work as a mentor for an online data science program called Springboard.com, which I've been with for the past two years. So that's me in a nutshell. Okay, so since you're working as a mentor in education, could you tell us something about data science education and your view on it? Data, I think data science education is a bit tricky uh, at this moment because it's a very interdisciplinary field where people have to have definitely the math chops, so a quant background, think stats, maths, physics, etc., etc. Then you also need to have a decent level of coding or even software engineering skill, which is then a completely different set of uh, educational programs that teach this. But finally, you also have to have this kind of humanities aspect to it, where you have a keen interest in working with data and telling a story from data. Of course, in order to satisfy certain business requirements or answer questions from the business or from a client, etc., etc. What do you think are the current trends and what people should uh, aspire to be learning about? And uh, what jobs do you think will be there in the future? To, to develop the skill set for these jobs? Um, that's very interesting. So I think definitely we have entered an age where since there is no shortage of data available to work with, there will be no shortage of jobs for people who are comfortable, comfortable working with data. Whether it's like data analysts who work in SQL or even Excel, or it's data scientists, or it's really like cutting-edge machine learning people who are making image recognition applications. Um, so I think from the jobs perspective, we're kind of set. If that's what you want to do, there will be jobs for you. Um, now, as far as trends go, what I see on the job market and in that the education will need to follow is that things like natural language processing that have been a really a specialization in machine learning are now becoming a de, fac de facto part of the, let's call it the common body of knowledge for a data scientist. Uh, definitely scaling, so working on big data platforms, uh, working with larger volumes of data is a skill in demand and will be um, going forward. And definitely deep learning in the next few years. Uh, but currently I think it's a bit too much hype but it will be a thing that's here to, it is a thing that's here to stay and will be more and more demand uh, as time progresses. So apart from the hype about deep learning, what do you think is the next big thing in data science? I can, that's a tricky question. I think um, from a data product side of things, I think we have a lot of companies, whether they're like small tech startups, whether they're big providers, Enterprise, enterprises that offer some sort of uh, semi-automated, easy-to-use data science machine learning solution for modeling. But I think we're going to see more and more companies try and make an easy-to-use platform for data cleaning, data acquisition, integration, and that sort of thing. Uh, of course, we have the big providers like SAS, like Oracle, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, IBM, but more like more like startupy, agile companies that offer and easier to use out of the box solution. Now, from a, that's kind of from the product side of things. From the user side of things, what I'd like to see is uh, definitely more useful chatbots, so services like that. And I also think that um, self-driving cars are going to be a huge thing, and a lot of stuff that's used in machine learning is used for self-driving cars, only much more cutting edge. I think we're going to see regularly sell driving cars on the street in the next five years. And so I think we live in very exciting times, both as data scientists and as individuals. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for the interview. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the conference. Thanks.